but there are a lot of clubs that want that that high end like the, there's a lot of clubs like Marquees that want to do the hip hop but they have a like a high end crowd keep it clean keep it clean I'm yeah I'm just trying to figure out why he called it Tyler Hero if he only said his name once he's in the Be- video because he's going to work on oh, his jumper he, he didn't make the video before the song mm. but yeah I guess he needs to work on maybe it. they had a uh, maybe they connected at Atlanta strip club Mickey. I mean <laughs> they Tyler, did or Miami or 11 yeah. <laughs> no Jack Harlow was there no no so, was it no it wasn't um it wasn't Tyler it was Lou no, but Jack Harlow was there. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they're both white men for the culture. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Sure. Episode uh, 76. 76. Yeah. Yes, what a way yes, to start yes. that off. Yeah, right? <laughs> Boy, man. How are we feeling? How's everybody feeling? Feeling good, feeling great, man. You know good, the vibes. Good, man. Yo, yo, shout out to uh, Beat Source. I was just watching the live stream. Yeah. They have, I mean, it was like a beat port. DJ City connection with Beat Source. So they, when I first tuned in, the styles are some drum and bass dude. Mm-hmm. Um, that was cool. You know, it's like not something I hear often. So I was like, all right. Styles was doing drum and bass? No, oh, some no. random guy. Um, the team in Denver. Yeah. And I, oh, I'm a butcher. It was like something like Schaefer or Trevor. Or something. Yeah. But then Styles got on and. Styles Davis. Pro- probably his first time DJing all year. Did it sound um, like it was his first time DJ? No, no, oh, okay. no. You know Styles. Styles gets down, he's man. Creative. He's, he's an underrated DJ in this in this realm. Well, he doesn't DJ anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's too busy making big money with DJ you, City and Beat Source. You couldn't wipe the smile off of his face. He's oh, so he was so happy to DJ. Oh my god, yeah. look like you got a PS5 for. Yeah, <laughs> good for him. Good it's for like Styles. that. It's like his publicist, aka Dazzler, was in the back saying, "Smile, smile. Good look job. like you're enjoying yourself." Ring the bell. <laughs> Good job, Asher. <laughs> yeah, he looked really happy. Yeah, so there was him, Kid Cut Up. I think every track he played was a Cut Up remix or a bootleg or something. Some cut Up is nice. Acapella out, edit out, intro it, in. Yeah, then and then um, Eddie Boy, I heard half of his set before we started this pod. Was it all Latin music? Mm, it felt like mostly Latin, but it was a good mix of like funk. Okay. I think some disco. A lot disco. of blonde hair vibes. Gotcha. He still yeah. got the blonde hair? Yeah. He's still mm. rocking it. He's still okay. rocking Like a it. champ. Heavy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know you have fun with that. Huh? I know you have fun with that. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Wait a Mickey be killing niggas, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm the, just here for the new. I'm just here for the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were having fun with Styles. No, that's Styles for sure. Fun. We were saying we had a lot of fun things to say with him. And I was like adding Joe just to make sure Joe saw them. <laughs> right, like, Joe? Oh man! <laughs> like who gets neglected more? Producers, uh, producer credits on Spotify. Or the left turntable that Styles DJs on. Yo, Styles yep. never. Yo, used at, at the, the left end, turntable. at the end, I don't know if you're signed on or not, but at the end when he was done and they're switching over, yeah. I put in quotes. You guys look like you had a time, a good time. Uh, says left turntable. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't using. He just uses the. He right. never does. He, no, for he's long, never used. Yeah, for as it's long as I've known him, he never used it. I mean, he doesn't really yeah. need it. I guess. Yeah. Now nah, we're like Blades of Glory in there, Mickey and I, right. attacking Styles Davis for fun. For fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but time. we're here now, episode seventy six. Yes, sir. Um, you know what? What brought us to this? Uh, this first thing to talk about is we have a group chat here, mm. and um, and Mickey said he he lashed out on us one time and said, "I wish you guys would chime in more. <laughs> I wish you guys would have more to say in this group I don't chat." Know how that was a lash? Like, <laughs> no, making my comments. I'm, I'm having fun with the word, but uh, yeah, he um. He said he he wishes we were more engaged. You know, Rel's got day job. Sean's got day job. I'm making music, or sometimes you know, sometimes we just like eh, I'll Joe's sit this one out. In the world <laughs> to be responding and shit. It's still yeah. It's it. like yeah. Let me let me write this. <laughs> let me write this melody first. I'll get back to. It's like ah, I forgot to get back. You know, whatever. But um, but yeah. So the the everyone. Everyone is a part of a group chat. I like to think right or multiple All of our listeners or multiple right. And sometimes they're hot and heavy and maybe they phase out. But, you know, there's always different characters within the group chat. And and Mickey, uh, what what did you say that um, that really made us bring this up as a topic? I don't know. I was just talking shit because <laughs> the reality is I'm in a bunch of other group chats. And I'll, and I'll, just, I'll just say our fighting group chat. Is a problem. Oh my god! You guys just like, at each other's like necks. A, I just watch it. I don't comment. Yeah, I just watch that shit. I mean, no, <laughs> I, I'm not. I can't even like lie. Like I talk a lot of shit. About <laughs> <Yo>. it. 
It's like a, it's like a fucking machine gun. <laughs> he just lets off. Yeah. It's like, don't you own a business? It's like, <laughs> it's like busy right Wednesday now? vibes. She's yeah. gonna come in hot. Oh my like, god. Yeah. You know, I'm like, yo, but that 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 chat is definitely entertaining, yo. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's a lot of picking, and the, and not like there's anybody to pick on in our chat. So maybe that's part of it, but also like it just feels like. Yeah, if we were talking more about current events and kind of putting our two cents here and there, we probably want to come in here and, and further expound on some of the topics that are happening in our and not only in our lives, but in the world. So well, that's it, all I was really saying. And and I don't know if there's like if etiquette's the right word, but usually when someone posts something in a group chat, you he's expecting a response, whether it's funny or y'all y'all see this or or whatever. And if you get no response. You kind of feel like, well, all right. Well, fuck y'all then. Yeah, that's what you feel like. Or if you think something's fucking hilarious and, no one laughs. and you don't get anything out of it, <laughs> Not it's even like, LOL. man, y'all ain't shit. Oh, but you want to say something now? No, I ain't going to comment on shit. You didn't laugh at my meme from earlier today. <laughs> some petty ass shit. <laughs> the best, the best <laughs> shit is if you say a, a joke and then somebody just goes, uh, the mix is in the Dropbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next text. Oh, man. Uh, so, all right. All right. Yeah, all right. Thanks for acknowledging me, guys. Yeah. Shoot a shoot. Fuck it. Yeah. Well, keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I felt Sean. like. <laughs> I'm usually you ever, the culprit. Yeah. You, ever, you ever been in a group chat with the boss and your boss likes to light the group chat up and you're like, man, I feel like I got to laugh or else he's oh, going to be. No. Me, me and Rose, me and Rose work like group chat is kind of like that. I mean, the boss is in there and I mean, it gets pretty funny from time to time because when people were putting emojis and shit, he ain't like that. Yo, he shut everything down. Yeah. Everything, everything, anything that's related to fun, <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> shut it down. Guys, we have to be professional. Man, this job is not professional. Like, what the fuck exactly. are you talking about? <laughs> First of all, but yeah, that, that group chat. So then we just have a group chat we had a group chat. We had a work group chat outside everyone that we tried to start. That talks about the work group yeah, chat? Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> they talked about it. So everyone from work, we started this shit, and then they came in and shut that shit down, too. Yeah. Because what happened was is that we invited... So it was, it was a snitch. Just, it, was, it was the drivers. There was a snitch, yeah. Right? It was the drivers, but then we invited our... Um, we call them POCs, person of contact. Mm. We invited them, because most of them are cool or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. I think one of them was the snitch, because mm. they were like, a level higher than us. Right. They're like the in between person between us and the, and the management. Yeah. So <laughs> that was that's where we fucked up as we shouldn't have invited none of them and we should have just kept it at the drivers. Yeah. Right. You know well, what's what stopping saying? you from doing that too? Well, I mean, we just I don't think anyone just initiated it yet. I got you. I think we we I, yo, we should do that. We should initiate it. See, I can speak a little bit on that because I've had many of group chats with oh, we all did of my have employees. A, we did have a group chat. And it, you know, it's 20 some odd characters, some 18 to like 20. Like, oh, mostly. wait, hold up. Let me interrupt. This oh. is why he's expecting a, a response from us. He's used to getting responses from all his employees. <laughs> oh, Mickey, you're the funniest. You're no. the best, Mickey. No, he didn't, no, he didn't no, come no, and share no, memes no. like that. I'm kidding. No, no, I'm kidding. You wouldn't share memes <laughs> like that. No, I wouldn't share. I wouldn't share anything. Like, it, it, Mickey I, wants I to be the professional. Same stance as some, like you're like the person running yeah, the yeah. other company. Keep, yeah, because you got to keep it somewhat professional. And you know, when you got to like be serious, people don't know how to be serious. And so that's why I think those chats have to be professional. But what I was going to bring up is. Absolutely, my employee started a group chat aside from our chat <laughs> yeah. to, to talk about me. And then not only that, but then uh, further along the line, and as the years go by, they started group chats with all the people who got fired or like, oh or, like, like used to work here. <laughs> Sean, you ain't in that group chat. Sean never got fired. Sean didn't get fired. I ain't, yeah, I ain't get fired, yeah. But I've I'm heard not it, in it. But, I, but the reason I know is because some people, like, well, there's some people who got my back and then there's some people who, um, they were like, fuck Mickey. They got kicked out, you know. Kicked out of the group chat? Of that group chat. Okay. And then also because there's been times where like, you know, I'll send you guys like friends and family links or an invoice or a private link or something to, to buy you something. You ain't sending them to them. And so I've, I send it to the staff. And then so the staff sent it to that chat. Mm. And then an order came from someone who I know is in that chat. <laughs> and, uh, and then they used a discount code mm. that I would have never let even my friends use right oh i would have let my friends use it but i sure as hell wasn't about to let this person use it mm. and so then i canceled their order mm. and i and i and i told the 
general group chat of people who are still active and hired at the moment. Yo, don't let so and so, you know, use this link nor use a discount code. The discount code would have been I would have canceled that had it been anybody that used to yeah. work here. And they took it personal. And then they went and dragged me through uh social media oh my from God. all the secret all the the stuff. And What's the hashtag? Like, Damn. I had, no. Yeah, what? <laughs> no, it was on stories, and I and I, I saw him because of the screenshots. I got a, a little, you know, little birdie t- sent me screenshots like, "Oh, this why is this guy like feeling some type of way?" I'm like, "Oh no, man! I just didn't let him buy this product or whatever, and didn't let him use my discount code." And so, anyway, that's how I found out about yeah. all that. Mm. Well, goddamn! It's like, well, shit. Group chats do get messy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think um, back in our, well, how old are you? 29, 30? I'm 32, bruh. They getting old on me. Nah, nigga, you <laughs> old. Yeah, you are old. <laughs> Back in our 20s, uh, when, 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 like, remember our first group chat with, with Ian and the Almost. team and all that? Oh, yeah. Nigga. Oh, my God. Those, those group chats were stupid. Ruthless. They were petty. Hey, <laughs> they were petty speaking as of etiquette, Man. Mr. Uh, voice message over here. No, oh, I know. <laughs> It's been a while since I sent it. <laughs> since yeah, I sent it. Sent one all the day with Jason Craig in it. <laughs> Didn't you? Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On IG. Because, because I, he, because, uh, but it wasn't a three minute. And I was like, all right, clearly what I'm texting isn't working out. Let me t- say it to him. And what was that, like 30 seconds? I don't know. I didn't listen to it. Yeah, see, so you it wasn't directed to, to me. So that's the reason why I didn't listen to it. All right. The only mm-hmm. thing I was scared about is when sometimes when the group chat's wild, not that ours group chat's wild, but like, you know, and there's a voice message, you kind of like, Mm, do I want to hear this out yeah. loud? Uh, I'm not gonna listen to this yeah, right you, now. You got to be careful where you listen. To your voice melts in a, right, in a hot conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen. Get them AirPod Maxes, man. You seen them joints? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. You, you guys ever let your significant others read the the group chats? If it's if it's <laughs> something extremely funny that won't hurt anybody in the long run, yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, there, there's there's like moments where I'm like, oh, check this is funny. Read this. But it's not gonna like make you look bad or you guys look bad. I don't think like, Sam loves me. I can't look bad in Sam's eye. Sam likes you guys. There's nothing. I'm, I would say any, anything I'll say in the group chat. I say it's Erica. I don't care anymore. We, we <laughs> are, I'm, I'm sick of this. That's where we are. I'm that's sick of hating. Yeah, exactly. That's it. We do. And, and you brought her out to try LA. And restart. She, this me? influencer <laughs> mecca. Listen. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Checks Kick that knowledge. In. That's Kick that night. Sex is coming in healthy. So, uh-huh. yeah. Okay. yeah. Good. Get, my, get your money up, Erica. Can our girlfriends ever try to look at my phone, period? So. Not yet. That's cool. Not yet. <laughs> One day. Not yet. What did she think, what did she think of our, our uh, iPhone conversation last night? She was trying to butt in. She, she should have get in there with the con- like a little bit of combo. And I was like, no. Nah. Nah, you should have. <laughs> hey, relax. We could have used that energy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. She's funny. She's hilarious. She's like, because I was like, what's she trying to say? She's like, it sounded like they wanted to still talk to you. I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I didn't really care. <laughs> she's like, like, damn, Mickey. She's like, no, I'm trying. Hey, I'm trying to hold the pants down. Right? <laughs> I, I shut this shit down. <laughs> no, she wasn't there. We would have been talking all night. Bad reception or not, <laughs> we would have figured that shit out. I would have some oil on the road. As soon as Mickey said. All right, I got to get out of here. Like, I just knew, and I didn't even say goodbye to Mickey. I was just like, all right, bye, Cecilia. Yeah. <laughs> she, was like, she, was like, she was like, what? She was like, damn, we should let her talk. No. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the next yeah. episode? What do you think we should talk about from a woman's perspective? Exactly. She was like on the side. She was like, oh, that's funny. Like, y'all, ever hear, y'all ever hear of J. Rose? Y'all should be talking about, babe, 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 calm down, <laughs> calm down, hey, calm, hey, calm down, hey. calm down, we got this, we got this. We got that. You know what's funny? Erica actually was like, hey, babe, next time you guys, you know, FaceTime, I want to listen in. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> Why? Yeah, exactly. I was like, what? Why? Why? Although we don't say anything that's like our girl, our fiance's girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> oh, our women shouldn't Whoa. say, I mean, or shouldn't right. hear. Like, right. we don't say that they shouldn't hear. It's not like we're going in the closet saying, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Neither in the group chats. <laughs> so it's That's like, true. Yeah, I, I don't think because normally I would say uh, a couple years ago, maybe it might have been a little reckless. A, yeah. a, a couple moons ago, like 
the group chat might be the first place someone can look. <laughs> just the fight chat. They purposely just be trying to set niggas up in the fight chat. Oh yeah, no, no, no. no, no. They, they just, well, that's yeah. They, they just listen, be like, I was like, listen. Sometimes I just be telling jokes just to get the like screen to fill up. <laughs> <laughs> this I'll, type, I'll type one oh, word What did I just put In our conversation Oh it was John Travolta you. In the 80's movie oh Where he's flexing God. his hips He's doing the thing With his hips Oh bro <laughs> I left that with him He said I just need to Keep talking So I don't have to See this <laughs> I don't see the John gym. Travolta's Junk shaking yes. On a oh gym God. Yeah <laughs> Dog No yeah. He meant well All cause your hips Were sore yeah, yeah. So he's he's making fun of my hips because we went on a hike. <laughs> and, we went on a hike. Uh, us two and and the women went on a hike, and uh, and when we got done, and the women. Well, the next day, I was like, I don't hike, but the, and I felt fine after. But the next day, my shit was fucking, <laughs> my shit was hurting, <laughs> and I was thinking like, if we didn't have the dog, <laughs> I was just sore. So, you ever been on a roller? And the worst place you can roll is right here on the side. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fuck I agree with you me then. up. Man. Oh, man. I wanted to fight my roller. Did you roll it out? You rolled it out? I, yeah. This nigga yeah. Joe is old as fuck. <laughs> but, um, and, this, and then we were talking about going again, but we had the dogs. We're like, no, nah, the dogs will literally plop their asses in the dirt and just stay. Like, nah. Where'd you, where'd you dogs, guys huh? go hiking at? Bryman. Bryman. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Yo, man. people sleep on that hike, yeah. yo. That, that's a little bit of a workout. Yeah. That's a I, little bit of work. I, I mentioned, yeah, it's sneaky because you don't mm. feel that rest day like, oh, that hike was fine. Next mm. day, you're like, I um, I mentioned to uh, Mickey's girlfriend, um, yeah, this is where the Kardashians shot the the first episodes or the first seasons, and she was checking me hard and like, she's like, uh, no, it wasn't. I remember it was this, this, and this. <laughs> like, hey, like, hey man, like, hey, what's wrong with you? I, I, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's I, like her trying to stack That's just what I was told. To that's just <laughs> what I was told. She's like, you know, Iverson had X amount of points percentage, shooting percentage, and you be like. The fuck? the fuck? No, he didn't. He went to Bell High School, <laughs> duh. His birthday's on. <laughs> yeah, some some in March. I forgot. It's June. Is it June? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. See? Memory's going. <laughs> yeah, I've I've hips are going. Memory's going. Too. So is his hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, this is what we do in our group chat. I feel like if there's one person we pick on the most, it's probably Joe. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. He yeah. the most of it. No. Sorry, Joe. I think everybody has their moment. No, no, don't do that. The, y'all come after me. <laughs> uh, you want the crown? You got it. Uh, let's, let's call it what it is, Sean. Let's right. call it what it is. Always, let's let's always pull up the greatest hits of the year. <laughs> Guaranteed I'm the most played. <laughs> hey. he's, on, he's top on everybody's Spotify. Hey. Picking on Joe 1. Picking on Joe 2. Picking on you just gotta call it what it is. Uh, Show rap it's all love. I'm Belfort. I'm here for it. I'm Belfort. Oh, um, Jesus Christ. But, um, but yeah, speaking of uh, hits and being number one, um, we thought it'd be fun to go back into uh, our discussions with how to pivot and maneuver <laughs> during COVID. And we were talking a lot of shit saying what, uh, not saying what you should do. We were suggesting... <laughs> What to do? I mean, help me out. We were talking about practicing your cuts, um, rebranding, working on your brand, whatever that means to you. In yeah, regards how to, to your brand. how to how to keep in contact with so, so uh, certain um, bookers and yeah. club owners, the etiquette of all that and whatnot. Yeah, um, and your mental health. Learning a new language, reading books, step, yeah. just whatever it is, learning something new. <laughs> um, and uh, we thought it would be cool to revisit that and. And put ourselves in the in the spotlight and see if we did any of that just to hold our, ourselves accountable. And uh, Sean, let's start with you. Did oh. you uh, do anything? Did you well, like? Is there anything you said at the beginning? Not necessarily what we did, but when you realized, all right, we're going to be in this for a while. Did you feel? Did you say you were going to do X, Y, and Z? And did you fulfill that over the last I mean, nine months? As far as boxing is concerned, that's probably been like my number one obsession. Yeah, it's definitely tremendous growth, and like just staying consistent in it, and like finding joy in it, is keeping me solid and sane. Have you, you know? cut anything out because of boxing? Oh, I can't, I can't eat that anymore. I can't do this anymore because of no, no, no. Because I mean, I I need to eat as much as possible. Sure. I mean, but diet wise, but I mean, just mentally, I That's think it's nice. helped me more so than anything. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it must be nice. Oh, yo, listen, you know, hey, we can't <laughs> all, you know, have the jeans, but. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we, we don't all have good jeans, Mike. You know, what you want me to do? <laughs> listen, God, I, God made you, he made me. What you want me to do? I don't know my parents, so, hey, man, shout out to them, you know. But, hey, there, hey. It <laughs> there it is. But, yeah, now, mentally, I think it's been the biggest help. And yeah. then uh, picking up DJing, for real, and, like, yeah. you know, just taking the time with it, like, preparing the music and really getting familiar with it and just learning different things with the mixers and even just troubleshooting. Rel's always like, yo, if you're going to DJ, you got to be able to troubleshoot because you yeah. never know what your situation is going to be where you're going to pull up and you got to fucking, you know, jerry-rig some shit. And yeah. I recently said that. Is that racist? Jerry-rig. Is that racist? It's Is it? Are you asking? Is it, yeah, I'm asking. Is it jerry-rig <laughs> Where does a the racist term? term? It, it's like for a German. I know there's gerrymandering within well, politics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but jerry-rigging is like a German. Okay. But like... You say that as in, like, I'm a MacGyver this. Like, I'm going to just figure out how to put uh, this together. Is gotcha, that racist? Gotcha. Is it racist? I never heard of it as being racist. Okay. I'm not German. Like, I heard, when you, <laughs> I heard when you say you're jipping someone, that's racist. Really? Because that comes from the gypsy term where if, oh, I, if, I, if I give you something uh, and then I... No, that, that's, no that's, that's called... And I don't mean to sound racist, but that's called an Indian giver. But, right. but when you gyp someone, yeah, when you, when you steal or mm. whatever. So this whole time, gyp is spelled G-Y-P. I think so. Or it could have changed over time, but yeah, when you're gypping, someone comes from the gypsy. You can change this shit? <laughs> yeah. Why not? We people people change shit all the time. Wikipedia. You can change the spelling of this shit? But, but you also learn from not being a DJ to and being a DJ that it's a different ball game when you're hands-on as opposed to being an outside outsider looking in saying, I can yeah. do that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, I mean, and, and you haven't been tested with a club, but just on right. Twitch. Right. I mean, I've literally, I've DJed one party mm -hmm. and this was years ago and i was terrified and i facetimed somebody to help me troubleshoot and yeah. set it up and then obviously rel eventually showed up he yeah he recorded you butchering a mix and he was no nah, nah, that wasn't did. that time <laughs> that wasn't that time wait I'm like this oh, poor guy yeah. he's that really was, trying to figure this was, out and rel was, was laughing I was, at him. I was djing i was djing a, uh, a party for a friend of ours and sean was like yo let me do a transition and i let him do it like that wasn't uh, that wasn't the time he was something. Okay. Yeah, yeah he, nah. brave man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In his it? defense, he was he was a little intoxicated. Okay, a lot intoxicated. Hey. Let's put it like some that. of the best set, some Is of the it? best sets are blackout sets. Listen, <laughs> all right, yeah. no How excuses you know? here. I've heard. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Don't, don't sell yourself short. You did a Halloween. Little oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting the swing of it. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm belt. enjoying it. <laughs> I think that's the number one thing. Just enjoying it. Rel came saying? in and killed you with five songs. Yeah, I wouldn't no, say he, that. man. <laughs> Three songs. <laughs> that's okay. It was a, it was a humbling experience yeah. for you. Wasn't it, it always is. <laughs> it's always. Is. I mean, shit. During the stream, it's the same thing. You know, I'm mm -hmm. always just looking over, like, all right. Just gonna do that. All right, it's cool. Fifteen years to one. You yeah, know, I'm your friend, right? You know, we're on the same team, right? You trying to make me look bad? That's the ball, man. <laughs> Just come in here and do a 360 window. <laughs> he over here really doing the layup man. lines, <laughs> the drills. It's like Smush Parker and Kobe. God damn, bro. Oh, like, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How Stupid. you feel, you, uh, Joseph? How about your nine um, months? Has it been nine? It's nine months. Huh? Nine, nine months. months. Yeah, I keep wanting to say seven or eight. But I, I feel great about, um, you know, it, I think, for, for the longest, I haven't been uh, into goals, to Matt's point. <clears throat> sure. I, it's fun to say, and it's like fun to like, you know, it's like a buzzword on Twitter and Instagram and all that. Mm -hmm. But I kind of was just going with the flow, and and some things that I thought would be great didn't pan out, and then I'd look back, all right, I'm glad that I didn't. And then some things just presented themselves, and it's like, okay, let's let's roll with this. Um but yeah, I'd, I'd say whatever came up and felt right definitely worked out and is continuing to work out. Um, I feel like if I would have just said, to some degree, if I would have just said, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z and stick to that and deny myself the opportunity for other things that were coming to me organically and and grabbing that those opportunities by the horns and really learning and making them mine, um, I'm glad I, I didn't stick to the script. You know, it was just like, all right, here's an idea. This Let's roll with this one. And I went with it and it worked out. Um, 
Yeah, and, and like like Twitch will be a good example. Um, I started out, there was like all these goals of affiliate and all that. And I was like, cool. And then it was like, all right, like creativity's knocking on my door yeah. and telling me, go back to working on music. This will always be here. And in fact, make yourself more exclusive on this. Only give them one set a week and, you know, an hour and say, hey, you're either here for it or you're not, you know? Um, and I like that approach. Um, I like that feels right. Now, they may not, that may not feel right to other DJs on Twitch. Cool. That's, you know, you got to do what works for you. But in re but I am rebranding as well. I'm, I'm working, I'm revamping my brand, I should say. Um, I'm working on it. Change working on again? some designs, huh? Change your name again? No, no. I was going to say, God <laughs> damn, bro. No. Uh, no, Don't we're going like to stick with it. <laughs> AKA, Trying to catch up to Sean. AKA. AKA, AKA Mr. AKA. AKA. <laughs> AKA. AKA, AKA. So you know what? I'm going to call um, myself AKA. Anyway. Yeah, right. Um, But no, and, and again, that feels right to, that didn't feel like the revamping of the brand didn't feel right back in April and May and June and July. There was other things that I that were on my mind. So it's like, okay, we're here. All right. This feel for whatever reason feels right. I'm on it. I'm working on it. And I don't know, maybe it's because vaccines are nearby and you know, we're just getting closer. And you know, you gotta listen to yourself. You gotta listen to your inner voice, your inner being, and and um and go and go with the flow. Well? Yeah, I I when we started this thing, you know, I, I felt like I was gonna be structured. I'm like, all right, you're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna practice this. Just like everything we talked about on yeah. this podcast, right? Read more books. Um, make sure you're practicing DJing. Make sure that you know your production. You're you're working on production. Make sure you're doing X, Y, and Z. Blah blah blah. And if like I got to a point where it was just like I'm forcing this shit. I'm a Pisces man. I'm spontaneous man. I structure mm -hmm. it. That shit crippled me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I'm just like nah. I I can't. I can't. I got to let loose, man. Mm. You know what I mean? I got to do this shit when I feel like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I lay back. I stopped, I, I, I stopped overthinking my DJing sets, you know, when it came to the stream and shit yeah. like that. I became more relaxed with it, having a lot of more fun, interacting, you know, going back to what Mickey had said, you know, on the last podcast. Shit, he said it a couple of podcasts as a girl, you know. As a consumer, I'd rather see someone being more engaging than going on there and doing like some scratch routine or some shit like yeah. that. And just being like engaging with it and just being like, yo, when it and it flowed a lot way better for me. You know what I mean? And I enjoyed it a lot more. Enjoyed it way a lot more. When it just when it didn't feel forced, I was like, all right, cool. I don't want to fucking stream tonight. Oh. And I don't want to feel bad about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I get it. Consistency is key and you want to be consistent, but Fuck it. If I don't feel like it, I'm not going to force it. You know what I'm saying? So those things definitely changed for me from when when we were in the beginning of this and getting to the end of it. Um, now, um, I've been itching to get back into producing because I haven't produced in like weeks, months. And shit. Uh, yeah, months. <laughs> um, but, you know, dealing with all the other shit that we've been dealing with um, that's been going on. Now I'm feeling like, yo, I'm trying to, I need to get back in, in in the studio and start working a little bit more. Yeah. Um, That's exciting because when you, when you're overproducing, you feel like you should be in there doing something, but it's just like, man, I just, I just don't want to touch you right don't now. Do it. Yeah. But then when you get excited to get back to doing something. That's like, when, that's when sh yeah. shit just starts sounding good, man. And like, that's what I've been waiting for. Or I don't want to say waiting for, but that's what. I'm I'm happy to see you starting to come back because I thought I was gonna be like man I'm over this shit you know what I mean but yeah. it's it's I love doing it you know the boxing thing is is great I think mentally that's been helping me a lot dealing mm -hmm. with everything all the obstacles that you know we've had to deal with or come across in this whole pandemic or whatnot um, the boxing has been keeping my mental sanity because. Mm -hmm. You get to the point where you be like, listen. Sometimes it, it's it's a gift and a curse because it's a gift because you can take all that energy and you can go in in your session and take it all out in the session. But then it's a curse because then because you have these tools. When someone crosses you, you be like, listen, I will fuck you up. <laughs> so, <laughs> like I say, it's a gift and a curse, but it does teach you. It does teach you some discipline and allow you to harness that that energy and that whatever it is that you're holding on to and release it at the right time at the right moment and have some sort of etiquette with it or whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah, I, um, did I practice what we preach to a certain extent? Yes. So, 
How many books you read? Um, probably four. There you go. That's but I haven't read good. any in the last probably like two months. But like read or read them, not LeBron read them, like. No, nah, I like read them, read them, read them, read them. But in the last one, in the last one, you stupid. And the last one I did was an audio book. I had took Joe's suggestion or whatever. Yo, and I, I tried, like listen to I it. I love audio books. Yeah, I tried yeah. that too. Um, yeah. Audio books. I thought I thought it was dope. Um, because because of our day job, we spent so much time mm-hmm. in the fucking vent, in the car. Right. Excuse me. Um, it was perfect. It was perfect for us. Which car? But I haven't. I, to be honest with you, I haven't listened to one or read a book in like probably like two months, two and a half months or whatever. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> But that's, again, it's just like nothing has come across in front of me that I've been interested in, like, reading or whatnot. You know what I mean? Someone has suggested, like, yo, this, I think this would be dope or you would like this or whatever. So it just hasn't been. So I, for the most part, it's just been fucking working and trying to just get organized. And after sitting down with Matt, it's just like, all mm-hmm. right, what's the plan? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, in regards to your structure comment, I've, um, and, uh, and uh, I think not feeling bad. Uh, goes along with that like we had this plan of you know like for me scratching was a part of the original plan yeah, working on the cuts absolutely and then other things started coming up and it's like and i don't mean to say scratching was a placeholder for that slot of the day or that hour but i I don't think there's anything wrong or anyone should feel bad if like for me for example i something else came up that was um that that just gained my interest and call it lucrative call it more interesting call it whatever uh, it'll it'll get it'll improve me in in other places where that that'll help me in the long run yeah so cool i don't feel bad about putting scratching to the side mm-hmm. because i'm more interested in this and and you know i know the scratching will always be there i know it's like whatever I'm doing works for me. Mm-hmm. You know, if I just wasn't completely satisfied with my cuts, then all right, let's go, you know, let's go work on some stuff. But some other things came up and I didn't feel bad about moving on mm. from the scratching. And you shouldn't feel bad because they're like little stepping stones to get you to the next thing. And to Matt's point, you know, it just, you got to just keep getting to the next thing and doing whatever it takes, but just don't do nothing. Yeah. You know, that's, that's when you, really screw yourself but you got to start somewhere and it's like like right they say writer's block and obviously not just in regards to writing books um but in everything some of the biggest names um in in like i don't know entrepreneurs and whatever they don't believe in writer's block some say that you're just that you just need to um step away from the screen or you just need to step away or you just or there's just something else going on as opposed to losing creativity because a, a good example is like a plumber. Mm. Like a plumber doesn't get plumber's block. Like he, he goes in, he knows what he has to do and he gets the job done for writers. It's like, or, or whatever you're doing, you're writing um, melodies or you're writing beats. Like you just got to keep writing. Even if it's like, wh- I think where the issue is you're struggling to find the perfect thing to write, but don't worry about the perfect thing to write. Just write. Yeah. It may, and then you can look through all that and there's probably something there, but you didn't believe in it before. So you never would have saw it, mm. you know, but yeah, mm-hmm. Mickey. I had like two things. Number one, the scratching thing. Um, I think if you just call it what it is, like it's not as valuable to you as other things Yeah. in the moment. Like scratching for a DJ is cool, but it's not value like anymore. Mm-hmm. Unless you're going to be a turntablist, unless you're going to go battle, unless you're going to go be in a space where you need that in your arsenal, it's not that valuable like, yeah. to what you need. Yeah, I agree because yeah. this time definitely allowed you to hone in on what your priorities are yeah. and was what you see is valuable. And, like, and a lot of times it's the ego that gets in the way because mm-hmm. your ego wants to be the best at that yeah. or, or caught up. So you're comparing or, yourself to someone else. You know, or I don't give yeah. a fuck no more. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're going to get view to see me use this Echo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> echo everything the fuck out. Yeah, Chirp and scribble. You're going to get the over-the-top mixer view for me or get a reverb. <laughs> see me turn on the mic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 And then, uh, and then the 
Well, I won't argue the plumber point because I get what you're saying, but I also don't think it like correlates. But that's just me trying to like start some shit to <laughs> play some shit. Play, 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 play well, no, let, let, let me hear what you have to say. Okay, man. so I just think a plumber doesn't have a creative direction to what's the right way to do something. Mm-hmm. I think they have a right or straightforward, wrong. this is how it's done. Yeah. No shortcuts. You can take a shortcut, but you like no shortcuts. This is the right and wrong. Writers or people of some sort of creative do apply a lot of pressure to whatever the next word is, I guess. And so that can be the the stall. But like the thing uh, is Huh? Plumber, stall. Go ahead. Right. Well, you yeah. just snake rudder. Uh, <laughs> wow. But I think a writer just has 20 different ways, 20 mm-hmm. different words, 20 different sentences they could use versus a plumber's like, this is what it is. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's why it's easier for a plumber to go this way and a writer to feel like they don't know which way to go. Now, I agree with you. They need to just decide and just on any of them. And then you can always go back. That's the difference. Plumber, mm-hmm. you're not going to go back unless you're trying to like fuck shit up on purpose and then, you know. Finesse. Mm-hmm. Finesse it and then have long-term business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... Oh, it's, it's broken again? <laughs> it's your oh, you, carburetor. <laughs> you came in for an oil change, but you need a new tire. What? <laughs> oh, man. I, I think um, in regards to that, I would say there's um, that someone like a plumber or someone in that situation would just continue to figure out like, okay, this is different. I haven't come across this before. So he'll sit there and get all the bad or she'll, I don't know. Um, he or she will sit there and try and get out all the bad ideas until it's like, got it. If that makes sense. You saying a plumber? Yeah. A, a plumber could just Google some shit though. Facts. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying anyone in that position that does something for a living and whether you're an electrician or whatever, you'll figure it out because it's, it's always, it's always fixable. It's always something you can, it's not like, I mean, Hey, if, Pipes are rusted and fucked, and you know you just got to get new pipes, and that fixes that, right? But but yeah, no, I understand. I understand. Also funny that you chose plumber. Your Italian Super Mario was a plumber. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> Is it? You I'm, I'm here to be defensive. Example. I'm you here came to be up defensive. with the example, though. It'd be racist if he came up he with the example. He didn't have to connect it back to my culture. <laughs> you threw it off the backboard. What did you want me to do? What you want me to do? Yeah, right? Finger roll it? Do it off. And then I just kept going when that just went like this. Right. <laughs> like Dwayne Wade. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so we're, we're good on... We're, bottom line, we are happy with the progress we made on the things we set on, whether it was nine months ago, seven months ago, or yesterday. We're happy with the progress that we're making, right? Were you done with? with I didn't even talk about my shit, but oh well, you said there was two things. Oh no, I was just comments. On he was gotcha. Okay, well saying. then, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why we shit on Joe in our group chat. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, right. look, I'll, I'll just recap it really quickly. Like, I think um, it's hard for me to to put into like kind of a box the ideas I had in regards to how I had to move as far as DJing. I think. I can uh, be transparent that there was a bit of frustration that um, things panned out the way they did as I felt like my DJ stock was kind of like on the rise back again Mm -hmm. after taking a lot of time off. And I was really setting up key relationships, uh, headline gig at Tao, Mm -hmm. things that that were worked for and getting there and residencies and whatnot. And um, I'll say, uh, you know, even getting a gig in a, to, to go full circle getting a gig in, in Fort Worth um, with the El Chingon fam who was booking me consistently kind of just reassures me that I shouldn't have to overthink or worry too much also about that Yeah. so I'll say that much because I also just got my offer sheet things are fine and the business side of things mm, so nice. I'm just going to say that so shout out to them Nice. that's one two um you know, obviously, like, I, I, I've i got things, uh, and, and you'll find out in the next episode how many times I've dropped the name Mag Park in this <laughs> show over the years. <laughs> but, uh, you know, obviously, I, ha- I have a business, and through that business has created uh, new ways to, to really, I don't know, look at how I can make income. Like, I've always wanted to look at different things, and, um, you know, whether it's... Um, the stock market or different projects uh i'm finally entering in the tech space for a business that's become a reality from you know march 
to now we're like really close to raising um, a lot of money and getting that to the front. There's a potential partnership with a corporate company for an, another business or con consulting there. And then uh, there's the boxing stuff, which God willing, you know, we'll have our own gym come 2021. And then uh, there's this new snack company on the way. And um, there's the, just like the a hat lot game of, is on fire. The hat game. I became a hat designer mm. by default, like just belly by buckets. accident. And then there's belly buckets. Mm. And I think then, he's been on fire in 2020. Mm -hmm. I just the way I looked at it was just <clears throat> I think a lot of the times I was looking around trying to feel tr or trying to figure out how to do things when and then not realizing that the platform that I had with some like whether it's Mickey D's or um mag park like there's just ways to just kind of integrate them and then once you find how they work together how they mesh together then you know we can we can definitely grow it so um yeah i think i don't think i knew what i was gonna try i was trying to do mm -hmm. i think i was taking a guess and then ultimately once i figured out that i didn't need to worry about what i needed to do versus i just need to react to what comes my way Mm -hmm. that was important and mm -hmm. now you know i think i've set up a pretty good situation going into next year which you know is if it's a vaccine world then so be it but so you be. know we'll see we'll see how it goes you gonna take the vaccine joe um we'll mm -hmm. see i don't know i can't call it now we'll see shout out to group chat pod podcast mm -hmm. group chat podcast they had um i forgot the gentleman's name but he's a big time tech uh, Cisco. space dude and he um he really explained the whole vaccine side of things mm -hmm. and i think it gives you a different light to what that is mm. versus what we think it is versus what social media feeds you to think yeah i was about to say we don't know shit we just see social media freak I mean, we out see and Bill we go Gates oh yeah, yeah vaccine that's number 666 and yeah. you know <laughs> conspiracy yeah. world <laughs> And Every five, vaccine and five comes with a G, chip. Five uh, G towers being installed everywhere. Nah, people just overreact, just like everything on social media. Everything, for some reason, everything has to have a reaction, and then most of everything has to have an overreaction. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. I don't know. I, I definitely follow some people that are like, "This is Belinda, Bill and Melinda Gates in nineteen ninety <laughs> something, and this is them now. It's yeah. not even the same person." Yeah, Damn. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Like, where am I getting? Never mind. I'm not gonna follow this girl. <laughs> <laughs> this girl or guy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Right on. Well, kudos to you guys for um, doing well the last nine months and doing what feels right, going down the path that you feel uh, you know you should be going down. Um, how are we doing in our relationships? Um, you know, after we got off the phone with you, Mike, I said we should talk about Mickey's relationship because it's been a while since we. <laughs> So it was kind of there was a point where we were kind of talking about it episode <clears throat> after episode after episode. Oh yeah, there was. And and it's like, you know, let's check in on that because you were in the honeymoon phase and Oh yeah. Let's let's, let's see uh, what's going on with Mickey these days. <laughs> this is a Mickey love life hour. Yeah. yeah. Why on. not? <laughs> Damn right. Oh, what a curveball. <laughs> this is why I got for checking Mickey. the notes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, what you get for, for leaving the, 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 the chat. Yeah. Oh, he's like, that's what we yeah. should talk uh, about, huh? Uh, you, know, you, know, you know, she told him, you know they're going to talk about you. No, they're going to talk about your ass now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she stayed on the phone. We don't We don't create a separate group chat. We take it to the podcast. See, what you got to do is lead a, the, the burner phone on, you know what I'm saying? So we always <laughs> have that one on there. Anyways. Right, 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 right. That's why I keep it on. I keep both of them on the group chat. Sometimes I'm like, who, who texts? That was me, fucked <laughs> from the other phone. <laughs> Things are great. Well, any new experiences? What, what we talked about like six months ago, it feels like. How it long was has it been? Fresh, how, six how, months how, ago. How long has it been now? Yeah, it's been like six or seven. She, she claims. Oh, I hate that. that. I hate when they claim. When, did it, when, when does it start? <laughs> well, because it's so probably, I mean, we met January ish. Yeah, January. So then uh, she claims that, you know, she, her, her approach to this is you were mine at this point of time. And I think that was like February because in March when we went to the East Coast, when? February? 
February. February, yeah. Boston, yeah. Yeah. So f- end of February. Yeah. 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 So at that point, we were already like kind of like talking, talking. And then I felt like when I went to San Diego in March, mm-hmm. that things were getting pretty real. And then so I think she she claims like March. Mm. What do you claim? I claim <laughs> May. Mid May. Wow. <laughs> and so it, it, and it, between it, March and May. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, certain I, things I, happen uh, in March uh, that you know what I mean that <laughs> would make uh, you know anyway. remain nameless. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody needs to know. So and um and so come come May, mid May, the reason I use it as a reference is because um uh, it was her birth. They at some point uh, in early May, mm-hmm. and then my birthday's in the end of May, mm-hmm. and I felt like her birthday didn't get a lot of shine, mm-hmm. uh, like my birthday did, and so I felt like someone gave in her the a piece of your birthday, huh? You gave her a piece of your birthday. What do you mean a piece of my celebrate? Birthday? No, 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 I'm just saying that. Oh, I think I know what you're saying. Like some birthday shine. Yeah, well, because we didn't get to really celebrate hers. Is what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Because, like, the whole, obviously, the whole pandemic and the COVID thing, like, you can't, at the time, I don't remember what was shut down, what was shut down. But she couldn't celebrate her birthday appropriately. Yeah. And neither could I, really. But she did go all out for me and as best as she could. Mm -hmm. So, to me, I was like, all right, well, some point in the middle there is when it felt like this turned real, real. So, anyway, now we're six, seven months in. um, And I can't say anything bad. You know, we've, I think, I've always told her. Anytime there's been a situation that um, I'm uncomfortable or she's uncomfortable, it's moments where we're going to learn from each other. And because we may love different, we may communicate different, and we just got to figure out what those things are. And as we figure them out, our relationship will get stronger. I thought you, you said we make love different. Do you guys talk about we your love language? No, yeah, have? we definitely talk yeah. about it. Yeah, and, you know, it, we're different people in in the sense of like love languages but i understand what makes her feel comfortable and i've always made my efforts to kind of give as much time even though i don't have a lot of time i when i do have time i'm present like that's the most important thing so sometimes when i'm with her i'm very like just like kind of like distant from work or like Mm -hmm. from trying to spend too much time on something because i try to make that time count and so, uh, new adventures. I don't think there's much. Um, I think the. I mean, she's coming with me to Texas. Nice. Mm. So that's our first official like out of state trip together. Nice. Um, I think that should yeah. be fun. So first time in Texas. Her first time in Texas. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Curious. Mm. I mean, shit's gonna be open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're well, gonna time uh, the pod coming. Might back be like cause... Twilight Zone, huh? Might be like a Twilight Zone thing. <laughs> no, that's how I felt in Atlanta. I was you keep like, like, "What the <laughs> fuck is going? Where am I?" <laughs> Take off the mask, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Atlanta. I'm like the only guy wearing a mask. I'm, I'm assuming that's how Texas it's is going to be. Yeah, because nobody, I ain't seen nobody else wearing a nobody mask. Nobody mm-hmm. videos. Out there, no. mm-hmm. So. On your flyer, you should have been the only DJ with the mask on, just to, just to put out the vibe. Let them know. <laughs> let, let them know, know now. This is what it is. Six feet. Here, let me update my photo, my promo photo. <laughs> on the flyer, he's six inches away from everybody else. Just <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm like, you need a new drop. This it says back up. <laughs> six feet. Six feet. Right. No pressure. Six feet. No pressure. Uh, you think that's the new rule at the courts? I'm right you instead stupid. of the three hey, feet. You gotta let me shoot, <laughs> yo. Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons, right. might be like Ben Simmons. How has how has you guys' uh, relationship been through this whole pandemic? Um, good. She goes in her office and works, and you a liar, you know. bro. Where's the well, what do you? What do you? What's me, your biggest problem? He got well, engaged. Me, uh, no, tell us what your biggest. What problem do you? Is. What do you think the biggest problem will be? Oh. You know us pretty well. What do you think <laughs> the dynamic between Joe and Sam and the dynamic they have with themselves? What will be the biggest issue? The plants get more love than you. Espe- the fact that y'all are home all the time, I-, I would think Sam probably wants more sex from you, and you only give it to her on the weekends. You know, bro. Funny you mention that. <laughs> <laughs> You ready for this? Wow, this took oh, a yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, no. What are you doing? We did. Come drum on. Roll. Drum roll. <laughs> Friday and Saturday. Ooh. Back to back. 
Drake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Insane, How do you yeah. feel? Before How do you feel on Sunday? Before or um, after the hike? That's why I was so sore on Sunday. Because it was <laughs> the hike. Yeah, 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 I was trying to figure it out. What kind of moves were you doing? <laughs> Shit, man. I felt like I was climbing a mountain twice that day. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Uh, hey, 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 yeah. Just kidding. Comedy style. Comedy, Comedy style. style. Sex style. Oh, man. Um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know, this, man. She, but through, yeah, she, she's all, in her own world. I'm in my own world. We might reconvene for uh, lunch. And hey, you know what, for real though, I, I, I definitely always think about what you guys said, like how you guys are on your phones or you're not talking to each other. What is it? What, what were you saying? You were saying something about how when you get up in the morning, you guys, what's your little ritual? Like you guys don't speak to each other until noon, right? Well, y- y- for the most part, yeah, we'll like we'll kiss each other, right? Good morning, all that, and then she'll go walk the dogs. I'll do my meditate and journal and read and all that, and then probably by noon, we're we'll have something to say to each other. But we just there's nothing to say, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, so and and when you start, you ever been in a situation where you have to force a conversation and then it just goes bad? You for whatever reason. Not just saying with the with your significant other, but you might be in an awkward situation. Or back in the days when you're on a phone with a girl that you really liked and you didn't want to get off the phone, and then you ask, "Hey, what would you do if this and this happened?" And then you're appalled by her answer. And then you're like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like for? you, I like you can't force. We don't force the conversation, or we try not to force. Okay. I remember with Sam when we were creeping on the low in Vegas. <laughs> We, um, we, she spent the night in my room and then the next morning I had to go to CVS or something. We had to get some shit. Plan B. Mm-hmm. And- <laughs> yeah, you set yourself up for that one. It's a good oh, shot. You set yourself up for that one. It's a great shot. He had a good look. Uh-huh. I'm not mad at Wide him for taking open. it. <laughs> so we're on the drive Lord. back and she says uh, something like, like say something is too quiet and, and I get it. Maybe she just like, Awkward about I don't know maybe the sex or the relationship. The or, plan B. The sex was awkward. No, no, no. It's just maybe I don't know. There's just might be somewhere something awkward within the dynamic of our relationship slash friendship, whatever. And I'll just like I have nothing to say, and I I'm just enjoying the silence of this moment. Like you can enjoy silence with a person, yeah. and you will always and you'll just enjoy it. Like, yeah. and that's something that'll that'll be in the back of your head. Like. I like that I didn't have to force anything with this person. Like we were just chilling in silence and we were very comfortable, confident, and whatever. It was just a good vibe. Just because you say vibe doesn't have to mean something has been going on. A vibe of just sitting and doing nothing, being quiet. That's a vibe too. Like, that's Still a great a vibe. vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. We good. All right. Real. Um, I mean, you, you know, miss. Can't complain, man. You yeah, know? Everything's perfect. You <laughs> think you just <laughs> said your relationship was perfect? What the fuck? <laughs> Anyway. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, man. I can't. I can't complain. Yeah, we definitely. We. I will say, we've had a lot of, a lot more um, challenges. Ch- I mean, granted, everybody has challenges. Everybody's have os- a lot of obstacles going through it. So we've definitely learned a lot. This the 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 communication between one of us, the, the between the two of us, have has enhanced, has involved evolved. Um, there's been more disagreements than we've had in the past, but I think that's just due to us dealing with all the shit that's going on. Yeah. Keep in mind, we've dealt with canceling the wedding twice, mm-hmm. a death in the family, a car accident. Uh, um, what else? Is, there was one more that I was just thinking about the other day. But you, you, on top of like our careers basically being shut down, right. you know what I'm saying? Both of us, in a sense, having to get te- technically nine to five jobs or whatever, yeah. and just dealing with all this shit within you know what's going on with the pandemic. So I think that is just uh, has um, risen like the anxiety or whatever yeah. and whatnot mm. in the household, but. We champions, man. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we like like I said, we we hold it down and we we literally had this conversation the other day and I was like, you know what? I'm proud of us. Like, cause if this was with anyone else, I would have been told your ass, get the fuck out. But I was like, yeah. 
<laughs> you know, and it was like, it's the one thing. I'll come home and I'm like, cool, man. You know what I mean? Like, she'll work all fucking day. She'll work a 10-hour shift. She'll come home and she'll be like, are you hungry? I was like, yeah, but I'm going to order some shit. You know, I'm going to trip, whatever. She's like, no, nah, I'm going to cook. I'm like, you ain't about to cook. You just worked 10 hours, whatever. She's like, yeah. no, I'm going to cook for you. Blah, blah, and then you guys started arguing. What you call it? Nah, I'm not arguing. <laughs> what the fuck were we arguing about? <laughs> no. But you know what I mean? So and it's stupid. like, it's, 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 like the, it's like the little, it's like the little things like that that'll make you really appreciate moments. People like, you know what I'm saying? That's all pilaf. <laughs> we get tacos. <laughs> um... But you know, just little shit like that, and it really allows you allows the time for you to to be present to and appreciate, because life will allow will you will, dealing with life, you will just be that shit will just go right past you and you won't even yeah. realize it. You know what I mean? Because whatever you're occupied or you're distracted or whatnot with whatever else is going on, you know what I mean? Is, is, life. You mentioned that you guys are champions. Is that is that um, why you gave us champion shirts? The other day, mm-hmm. he's like, "Yeah, where what I am, man? But where I am, you know what it is. You know All what I'm right. saying? That's a little up, bit of a... no. I feel it. I feel because when I got him, like, yo, he is a champ. Crazy because he is a champ. You know, it is what it is. Jordan Duncan space jam. Did you did you try the shirt on? Did it fit you good? I haven't tried it on you. Oh, okay. You know, get Joe, Joe stepped outside for a second to grab a stool to reach for that comment. <laughs> He's reaching. Let me get that. Let me, let me get, bring, 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 I got to reach the bar. I got to get to the, get to the top look look shelf look for this, this one. Step ladder, real quick. <laughs> but yeah, man. I mean, other than that, like I said, it's 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 been solid. It's been great. Um, we 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 looking to close out the year on a yeah. on a high note and mm. looking forward to twenty twenty one. Double man. meanings. You, know what I'm I like you, see, you see what I'm saying there? You see? You see, mm. see, you see what I did there? Speaking of high notes. Sean Well am I, am I high? <laughs> Probably are Anyways. High off life Anyway nah, Yeah uh, <laughs> Nah I would say um, Yeah communication I think that's probably Been number one For anybody In, in, in this pandemic Cause listen If you in your crib Eight hours I mean four hours And you just looking At each other Sitting on the couch Like <laughs> Wait, how are you looking at it when you see it? You, how are you no, looking at it? Are you disgusted? Wait, or what? wait, wait, wait. What's the look? Wait, 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 hold on, wait. Because it sounds like you're when, disgusted. When, you, when you're, like, you're both on your phone and you're yeah. like, what are, we, what are we doing right now? Like, yeah. what's happening today? What, what's on the docket? What are we getting done? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. And then sometimes you just lash out and then next thing you know, you're in a full-blown argument and then you, you're making up. And then you know you're winding down. It's it, it's a whole roller, roller coaster, coaster like weekly. You know what I'm saying? But you young bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I've been in this relationship. Actually, I guess you longer, but still, nigga, this nigga been in a relationship I, for as long as his hair been gray. <laughs> my hair's been gray since 18. Don't do that. Exactly my point. <laughs> you um, how, how, often, how often are you holding the camera for her to do her influencer thing? All the time. Um. Yeah. When it gets is she cutting you a check? Facts. Yeah. I'm quitting soon. So I'm like, I know that right now. Y'all laughing. Shit. You mean the, the podcast or your job? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Did you hit the lotto? I'm done. All I'm you gotta do is turn off some lights and press start. Hey, We're like, man, listen. So technically we can get rid of him. We don't need him, right? <laughs> 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 hey. oh. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> we pay you because we like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Got to start a new group chat. <laughs> you already did. <laughs> oh, you know about that? We told you about that. You got the discount. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Do we have a group chat with our show? We, yeah. we did for something for something else. But, I mean, not like... It, it's it's for the LLC. Yeah, it's not yeah, personal. It's for the LLC. Oh. Oh. I was trying to think what That's the hell like we started. That's when I your social security. And- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah, he yeah, don't yeah, need yeah. to know my social security. Oh, I mean, well, he knows my social security because we got our LLC for hits only. <laughs> there you go. But he you need, need real social just. security. Hit up, Sean. Sneaky. <laughs> what? Um, I got your social security number too. Do you? Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Hit up, bro, for <laughs> yeah, my social security. I still ain't got relics <laughs> for this fucking LLC. <laughs> I mean, yeah, man. I thought I gave you mine. No. Well, Let me well, look Sean, at this. Look at this. Sean's got it. If you look for receipts, I know. I, I, I know. I sent you that. <laughs> oh, yes. I ain't got it. Yo, I got so many group chats on my fucking phone, bro. Yeah, wait, yeah. you got your, my you got my social security in your iMessage. <laughs> God forbid, one of us gets hacked. Delete. Oh man, oh, man. delete it. Yeah. Listen, who's dick showing up? Yeah, on y'all. Don't don't forget. Delete the group chats. 
The yeah. keep, keep it fresh, delete them because a lot of shit builds up in them. So you probably you don't want to use the them features in your iMessage where like you know invisible ink, loud, gentle. No, nah, I always forget Sometimes. about that shit. What's Sam? Like hearts and dicks. stuff like you that. You said dick. No, she. I, I, you know, I, it's rare. I'll send like an emoji. I mean, uh, uh, oh, you're not talking about the eggplant. You're talking about actual dick. <laughs> Why would I need to send her a dick pic? I, I oh, see yeah, you her, her. You twenty four hours. You this nigga. <laughs> he said, oh, "You're not talking about the emoji." <laughs> <laughs> well, I immediately thought of eggplants. <laughs> so it's my what ball. are you sending? Why, why are you? What are you sending your girl? Listen, don't they don't that. live together though. That's true. We don't live together. Mr. Mr. Two times a fucking session over here. Oh, man. Still, she's young. I got you know, to gotta keep, keep up. up. What kind of pills are you taking? None. It's so <laughs> organic. Right, yeah. Fucking so, ginseng. Uh, ginseng. <laughs> what? Ollie multivitamin to- gummies. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Shit. Taurine? Hey. <laughs> sleep with taurine? What's that <laughs> shit? <laughs> it's a taurine, right? That's in Red Bull oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. No, not that. It's still natural. All right. Oh, my God. All right, so... Mickey's own Red Bull. I'm a multivitamin. It gives you wings. Relax. <laughs> yeah. Multivitamin. <laughs> yeah, for real. The gummy bears. I eat the gummy vitamins too. Yeah. yeah. Holly. Sam Kinder does. Gum. She Sam eats gummy vitamins. Holly, Holly they well, got man. focus ones, they got mm-hmm. energy ones, they got multivitamin ones. Wifey makes sure I eat that shit. They got the sleeping ones. She's got me eating uh sea moss now. Like I heard about sea moss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, What's yeah, that for? Yeah. Uh I don't know. You just take it. I just take it. She yeah. puts it in front of me and she's just like, listen, we gotta take this, we gotta take that, we gotta take that. All right, whatever. My girl had Let's me take taking some shit that tasted like soap. So she's just slowly killing me. Yeah, that's what I told she's her. She's keeping me alive. I said, you either, I, said you either, yeah, I said, you either slowly killing me. I mean, me. she keep asking for the safe code. I'm gonna start wondering. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Jumped in this just, just, babe, she's like, babe, just in case of an emergency, like if something happens to you, what's the what's the code to the safe? Yeah, yeah. no, my what? brother has that. Yeah, like, yeah, hey, why do you need to know hey, that? Funny <laughs> thought. Why don't you put my name on the uh, Mickey D's brand or the Mickey? No, the, the Mag saying, Park brand. Well, we put it on put your me portfolio. On the ownership. <laughs> like, what? Wait, so if you die, are you giving up the passwords to everything else and the phone? Your phone first. We're like. What? Oh, she can have my phone. Password. Just burn it all. Okay. That's fine. It's all going down in the fire. <laughs> burn it all. I don't have a phone. <laughs> what are we talking about? Phone. Two What's phones. <laughs> uh, naughty, naughty pigeons. boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You gotta, that bird died too. You gonna burn <laughs> off all your fingertips so you don't have no <laughs> fingerprints? <laughs> Oh my god, yo. Before you die. If I, if I Before die, you kill me. If I die, throw take my, my fingertips eye, off. Throw my eyeballs away. Oh yeah. Like a face 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 face. No, I think you can put a picture up to that shit, can't you? Nah. You no can't, way. You sure? I'm sure. Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't have that shit. I you need to try eight. that shit. I still got the eight, so. You gotta try. Let's see. Live, you know you didn't order the new joint? What new Man, joint? Nah, I still didn't do it yet, but yeah. I am. The twelve? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, we're gonna try this. Mickey's testing it over here. Live, live uh, while while he's doing that, um, shout out globalization announcements. Shout out to CRG. Yep. Yes, Austin's finest. Did he send you the remixes and all that? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, I saw one of your your next mix. I saw one of his tracks. I was like, I wonder if he sent him the like two tracks. Right. Um, Did he send it to you? No, no, no. I'm gonna have to let him know. No, yeah, I'm not the bang on to him. Me either. Well, I'll have to bang on him. DM. Let him know. Else. Um, so yeah, shout out to him. He had, he had a really good mix. Um, and up next, DJ Q yeah. from Vegas. Mm-hmm. And that is with Mickey. Mickey Ward. It's not working, huh? It's not. <laughs> Looks like your phone's like making love. Or, <laughs> they're not sure if they should kiss each other. Or they hesitate. do talk to each other, so. Uh, uh, no. All right. Mm. We're safe, fellas. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing. Um, so yeah, globalization. Um <clears throat> Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, Pitbull, oh, uh, Sirius XM, there it is, channel 13. And uh, and not not to, I mean, I want to do more of celebrating this man's life and not be so down. Um, rest in peace to DJ Indiana Jones. Um, he, uh, I think 2011, when I really started traveling, uh, I went out to Kentucky and then, I don't know, I, I was somewhere out there. Then drove to Indiana to DJ this girl's birthday party. And he was there. And I remember him sitting there like a boss, like this is his venue. This is 
his space. This is his world. You know, this is his shit. And he welcomed me with open arms. Um, I believe he said he was a fan of the Mickey D show. And that, again, that was 2011. And we've been cool since. He t- um, some years after, that, he took me to my one and only Pacers game. He was the DJ for the Indiana Pacers. Nice. Um, and he took he took me into his home, hung out with him all day. One of the last times I was out there. I don't know what happened, um, but I am here to celebrate him and to make sure he gets his respect. And I know in the community, he was known and loved by a lot of DJs, especially out in the Midwest. The dude's been DJing forever. He's, I would assume, a legend out there. I mean, shit, he got a blast. He got a a, a post from DJ Premier oh, shit. saying, rest in peace. So, I mean, if, and, I, and, I, and I, I think I knew this before, but he was a, a tour DJ for some old school um, hip hop artist. Uh, I forgot the dude's name. But um, yeah, rest in peace to him. Uh, my condolences to his loved ones, his family, and the DJs around him. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and you know, um, shout out to Indiana. They lost. They lost a big one. And yeah, man, that's it for that. Um, rest in peace, man. That's tough. Yeah. So again, uh, Mickey D's playlist. We updated it. It's updated. I got the email yeah. from Kid last night. It's been updated. We in there. And make sure Christmas time, baby, get yourself a new backpack. Use M I K I D Z one five as your coupon code off. to get your fifteen percent off at Jet Bags. Shout out to those guys, and it's a wrap for us. Peace. Peace. Later.